welcome back to Teresa DeRose's Longevity for Life. Today's topic, keeping toxic people at bay. Toxic people are a nightmare. They cause negative drama, always seem to be a driving force behind conflict, drive down morale in the workplace, and they negatively impact the emotional well-being of those they have to deal with. For some people, this behavior is almost like a sick mind game, while others are truly unaware. Sometimes, all that is required for dealing with a toxic person is to simply cut them out of your life. Unfortunately, this isn't always possible. There are going to be toxic people you have to tolerate, hopefully in the short term, but sometimes for longer periods of time. The worst part is, it can be tempting to give toxic people the same treatment they mete out to others. Of course, this never works. Toxic people aren't capable of much self-reflection and turnabout only makes them see themselves as the victims. In the end, the best way to deal with a toxic person is to use these seven techniques commonly used by intelligent people. Don't waste your energy on pointless conflict. Some toxic people have a need to start conflict with anybody who is willing to accept their invitation to argue. Even worse, there is often no point to the argument that toxic people start. An intelligent person is quick to recognize this. The best response is to simply disengage or to ignore the attempts altogether. Get emotional support from positive people. If you have a toxic person you can avoid, the emotional toll can be significant. People have left good jobs or reduced contact with loved ones because of the damage that can be done by a toxic person. You have to be aware of your own emotional state. There are some times when you don't have the emotional energy to deal with people. When it comes to dealing with a toxic person, it is very important to assess and know your emotional state. A lot of times we get stressed and we can't deal with emotion at the end of a very long day. So this way, if you are really on edge, you can avoid contact rather than being pushed into a reaction that you will regret. Also get goal oriented. Toxic people, along with the antics, can be very distracting. They can cause you to lose mental and emotional focus when they create drama or otherwise cause problems. Toxic people are many things, but most of them are not stupid. Once they know you will be distracted by them, they will typically back off. You also need to make sure you don't get pulled into drama. If toxic people have one thing down pat, it is the ability to create drama. They do this by getting other people whipped into a frenzy about one another. They do this by slipping different pieces of information to people, starting rumors, talking about conflict, and inflating their into huge arguments and generally sowing discord among, other, among others. Then they sit back and watch the results of their pot stirring and manipulation. Unfortunately, they really get called on their behavior. I suggest back away from the drama and to refuse to participate. Set and enforce boundaries. Many toxic people fall into one of three categories. There are the complainers who find people and things to take issue with, everything. Give them your time and they will unload on you with a barrage of gripes about everything under the sun. Don't give them time. Then you have the pot stirrers who create conflict and drama. These people are best dealt with by dealing, telling them that they are not, you are not interested in hearing what they have to say, a full stop. Finally, there are the perpetual victims. They are continually whining about being done wrong by someone around them. This is usually in spite of the fact 
that it is their own behavior that is atrocious. The chronic victim can be confused for a complainer. The difference is the complainer is never happy with things or the service they receive. This is a final point to remember. Remember your right to be happy. Whatever reason a toxic person has for their behavior, it is fully within your rights to be a happy person who associates with emotionally happy people. The fact that a toxic individual is so internally miserable that they choose to try and undermine the good in others' lives or they simply enjoy creating misery isn't relevant. You have the right to be happy in spite of their behavior and you should assert that right whenever it is necessary. Don't let anybody manipulate you into being miserable for their benefits. Remember the holidays are approaching us, so you're going to get some toxic people in your family. So beware. That's it for today's Teresa DeRose's Longevity for Life, where I'll bring you the researched information on medicinal value of foods and healthy lifestyle tips. Thank you for watching BCAM TV, and remember, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. See you next time.